Want to control heating in every room down to a decimal point? Look no further than smart radiator valves. Whether you have smart thermostat or not, these nifty devices can help you fine tune the warmth. Starting off with a Kara smart radiator valve. As is custom with a Kara, it works on Zigbee. It is compatible with all the key smart home ecosystems systems out there. And it's highly recommended as these are the valves I'm using in my own home. And for 40 pounds a piece and sometimes a discount, it's a great choice. Next up, we have the one from Bosch operating on Zigbee protocol and compatible with all the same ecosystems as a car does with a slightly better operating temperature range, but at a much higher price of 71 pounds per piece. I cannot honestly recommend it, but you can get two cars for the price of this one. Tado is one of the earliest brands to launch their smart radiator valves. They do use a proprietary protocol which is a bit of an issue. It does work with all the main ecosystems and a friend of mine actually has those and at the price of 36 pounds, it's hard not to recommend them. It's a great choice, especially if paired with their smart thermostat. Next up, we have a thread-based option from Eve, which works with Apple HomeKit. It does not specify operating temperature or humidity, which is already a challenge. And at the price of almost 80 pounds or hundred dollars, I honestly cannot see how can anyone recommend it for your smart home. Nitatmo brand first became famous with their weather stations and with the smart radiator valves, they're using a proprietary protocol, which does work with most of the ecosystems out there, but the price that they're selling it at which is $85 or 68 pounds, is just a little too high and therefore I cannot recommend it for your smart home. TP-Link's premium brand of smart home called Casa provides this smart radiator valve which uses the Zigbee protocol. It operates on all the ecosystems out there, but it costs a whopping 70 pounds or $85, which is a very high premium in comparison to a car. So I honestly cannot recommend this one. And as always, if there is a Z-Wave option out there for you, I'm bringing this into the video. So this one from Fibaro, it leverages Z-Wave and Bluetooth. It operates with all the ecosystems out there and it comes at a very high price. So if you're into Z-Wave ecosystem, this might be the reason why you want to choose this over the other options. A pretty decent solution from Mo is here, leveraging the Zigbee protocol and operating with most smart home ecosystems, excluding Apple HomeKit uses a AA batteries, has a pretty decent operating temperature range. It does cost around 45 pounds or $60, which is pretty reasonable. So maybe a good option for you. A very rare occurrence for me is this Shelly radiator valve, which uses Wi-Fi protocol, therefore doesn't require a hub. It has a rechargeable battery built in and has a pretty decent operating temperature range, but at the price of 75 pounds or $95, I struggle to recommend it because the price is just too high. One of the longest products on the market in the smart radiator valves space is this Hive Smart Thermostatic Radiator Valve. It costs 47 pounds. It operates with most smart home ec systems out there and it comes at a decent price. So if paired with their smart thermostat, it might be a good option. I hope you found a good option for yourself among these 10. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.